Fighters, when they hear a call for help, their instincts take over. They rush in there at a moment's notice, no matter the situation. Welcome back. I'm Taylor Wirtz and for Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabe. And with that kind of skill, they need the utmost practice in order to be at their very best. Twink News reporter Ash Patel visits the Sanibel training grounds to see their exercise in action. Making sure our first responders know the ins and outs when it comes to fighting fires. The Sanibel Fire Department is using this building that was a workforce affordable housing structure which was damaged in Hurricane Ian to train firefighters. Deputy Chief John D. Maria says he wants his team to be prepared for anything. We try to prepare ourselves through training uh, each and every day. Um, yeah, I was on call during uh, when Hurricane Ian did hit. Um, I was at my home and I was fielding a lot of the calls that were coming through. Um, unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to respond out here due to the storm. Um, and it was it was heartbreaking to, to to feel those calls and not be able to respond like we normally would. This training session seemed like it was the real deal. Firefighters got the call, pulled up in the fire truck, immediately got a hose, and tried to break down a door to save a person that was stuck inside. The Sanibel Fire Department will be using this affordable housing building to train for the rest of the week. When they are done with it, it will be torn down and rebuilt. Chief Di Maria says affordable housing is a priority here in Sanibel, especially after Ian. We, we want our community back. We, we want to bring everybody back out here, including our workforces. Um, so the quicker and, and, and the quicker we can get that to make that happen, the better. On Sanibel, Ash Patel, Link News.